Welcome dear creatives. In this video, I'm showing you how to make this crinoline leaves fascinator design that is showing on your screen right now. The size of my crinoline is six inches. And then I'm going to just apply some glue at both tips. Okay. Now, some people use thread. You know, you can use thread to tie both tips, right? You can burn both tips after gathering them together with your thread or with your um, glue, whichever one you choose to use, right? Then you can go ahead to also cover up the parts that you gathered. Maybe you can use um, some leaves, some flowers, you know, and just little flowers to just cover up those edges that you gathered together using your glue or your thread. I have a video on a particular crinoline leaf that I covered, you know, with fed, with um, flowers. So you can click on the link showing on your screen right now to watch that. But this particular one, I'll be using just my glue. So I'll gather both ends of my crinoline using my glue. Can you see how I'm twisting the crinoline? If you want it to have the pointed sharp edge like your leaves then you should twist your crinoline the way i'm twisting mine just watch the way my fingers are moving you twist you drag up you twist the edge of the crinoline and you drag up okay now you do this until it is you know it, you get the, that shape of leaf you know we're trying to form crinoline leaves right so you keep doing this until it has formed that pointed mouth of your leaf then you repeat the same thing on the other parts of your crinoline, okay? So now it has formed that shape. You can see how it is. Now I'll work on the other part of my crinoline and I'll repeat the same thing. If you want to, if you want um, making of the crinoline leaves to be easy for you, when you apply your glue, make sure some air gets into it. Like don't start um, forming these crinoline leaves when your glue is still very wet, Okay? So you keep doing this until it gives you that shape. You can see it has given me the crinoline leaves shape that I want, right? Now, if you do not understand how I got to this point, feel free to go back and watch again. Now, I have some crinoline leaves that I already formed, but I showed you how I formed them, right? So I have 12 pieces of my crinoline leaves here, and then I joined two together. Let me show you how I joined these two together. No, I did not use needle and thread. Although I'm going to use needle and thread at the end of the day to combine all my crinoline leaves together. But I'm going to show you how I joined these two using my glue to form these two in one crinoline leaves. So um, just keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on my weekly DIY videos that I drop every Wednesday by 3 p.m. As for my returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. So now see how I'm joining this. Can you see? I just took one edge of my crinoline leaf and attached it to the other edge of my crinoline, of the second crinoline leaf, okay? So now we have two-in-one crinoline leaves. You can see. So you just rub them together that way, rub them together, and then it will stick. Can you see? So now using my felt cap, I'm going to start arranging the crinoline leaves on my felt cap. Feel free to use any molded base that you have. You can use a base that you molded using cinnamon, using princess mat, using wadding, whichever one. But I'm using felt hat, felt cap in this scenario. So now watch how I'm going to arrange my crinoline leaves. Just watch closely so you will not miss it. So I have four crinoline leaves here well arranged and then i'm going to use my needle and thread to attach them together if you have been following my videos you would know that i'm an advocate for needle and thread <laughs> so just keep using your needle and thread as much as you can use less glue as much as you can the fact there's um an app now threads right the thread app so Use your thread, use your needle as much as possible for durability, okay? If you have gotten value by watching this video so far, please like this video, 
please comment, tell me what you feel about this video, ask your questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Also, feel free to share this video. It will help the algorithm to favor me so I can get to more people. So, so more people will learn how to make fascinators, right? So now just watch how I'm doing the arrangement of my crinoline leaves. I'm attaching them one after the other while I use my needle and thread to sew them. So keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. Did you know that you can be part of Vforma Minds two weeks intensive fascinator making training? So to be part of that training, just click on the link in the description box or you click on the link in the comment section. In the training, I'll hold you by the hand. I'll teach you how to make beautiful fascinators. You would learn the nitty gritties of fascinator making. Okay. You would also get an e-certificate. You would get some bonuses. So the training brings out the best in you, the creativity in you. Here are some fascinators that some of my students have made and they have gone ahead to monetize. So when you learn how to make these fascinators, I'll teach you how to monetize even if you have never sold before. Okay. So um, now I'm still trying to arrange my crinoline leaves on my fascinator. Now watch how I'm arranging them and then make sure your stitches are invisible stitches. The inside should be very neat. The outside too should be as neat as you can. Okay. So if you have watched up till this point, I believe you're getting value. I believe you love what you're watching. Please just 
Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment and ask me your questions. I'll do my best to answer. If you love the video, let me know in the comment section that you love what I'm doing. It's more like the fuel that keeps me going. Also, when you share this video, it will help the algorithm to favor this channel so that more people would be able to learn how to make fascinators. Okay? So keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. I would love to see your fascinator. You can reach me via the WhatsApp number that is showing on your screen right now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to attach my Alice band onto my fascinator, my crinoline leaves fascinator. And then I'm going to do that using the invisible stitch method. Make sure it is neat. Watch what I'm doing closely so that you would understand. But if you do not understand and you have any question, please ask in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your question. So I'll just keep attaching this using my needle and thread on my fascinator, on my crinoline leaves fascinator until the Alice band is very firm, like until it is firmly attached to my crinoline leaves fascinator. Okay. Now, remember, you have to use a matching thread, or you can also use this fishing line, right? You can use your fishing line, or you use a matching color of thread to sew your Alice band onto your fascinator, just the way I'm doing. Also, you can decide to cover up your Alice band using a matching color of bias, of trimming, you know, of material. So in this case, it means you have to use white because we are making a white crinoline leaves fascinator. Okay. So now that I'm done attaching my Alice band onto my crinoline leaves fascinator and it is very firm, I'll be using these little roses to cover up the part of more like the center of my crinoline leaves. Just watch closely, you will understand. So I'll put in a little glue. Feel free to use your hot glue or the B6000 glue, whichever one you have that you know would do the job. In this case, I'm using UHU glue. And then I'm going to just allow some air into it. As you can see, I'm putting the glue into onto my rose, my little roses. I'm trying to put on all the ones that I need so that by the time I'm done, some air would have gotten into the very first set that I applied the glue on. 
so that is why i'm applying glue on more than one now i'm going to start attaching them onto the center of my crinoline leaves you know the part of your crinoline leaves where you stitched in the front you don't want to leave it that way in this case i'm embellishing it with these little roses so just watch how i'm doing this and then this part i want to talk about now is very very important you see the part of your crinoline leaves where you applied your glue to give you the shape of the leaf feel free to use a matching color of spray to cover that part that has your glue in this case i do not need to cover anything i do not need to paint anything because it's white and my glue is white okay mm -hmm. 